This is a short video about chlorpromazine for the Cochrane Schizophrenia Group. Chlorpromazine is a medicine used in schizophrenia. It was developed in the 1950s and it was the first drug of its kind. Its cost has come down since its patent expired, making it cheap to use. It is one of only four neuroleptics on the WHO Essential Medicines list. That means it's used worldwide. The discovery of chlorpromazine ushered in a new multidisciplinary form of psychiatry, helping to end the desperate measures of the asylum. Its discovery has been called nothing short of a revolution, a psychiatric equivalent of penicillin. But despite being life-changing for many, it's not a perfect drug. Its side effects are numerous and it doesn't always work. We don't know everything about what causes schizophrenia, but it's thought to involve too much sensitivity to dopamine in two parts of the brain the mesocortical pathway and the mesolimbic pathway. The connections between nerve cells are called synapses. They're made of tiny gaps between the end of the cell and the beginning of another cell. In the synapses in these pathways, dopamine crosses the gap between the cells and binds to receptors on the other side. This activates the receptors and creates chemical signals in the following cell. It's thought that in schizophrenia, there are more receptors for dopamine. That means that there is more activation of the signalling in these pathways. It's thought that that's what causes the symptoms of schizophrenia. Chlorpromazine is a similar shape to dopamine. It works by getting into the synapses and competing for spaces on the receptors. It binds to them, but unlike dopamine, it doesn't activate them. Instead, it blocks dopamine from activating them. This means that if you take chlorpromazine, it will reduce the amount of signals sent by dopamine. And that will help reduce the symptoms of schizophrenia. Chlorpromazine has been in use since the 50s, so a huge amount of data has been collected about its effects. Cochrane has conducted reviews of the best available evidence based on randomised control trials of a total of over 6,000 people, comparing the effects and side effects of chlorpromazine to placebo and to a similar drug called haloperidol. It was found that if you take chlorpromazine, over six months to two years, you're 30% more likely to see your symptoms improve significantly. That's three times the success of placebo. On chlorpromazine, you're also 35% less likely to relapse. That's twice the success of placebo. The downside comes from the fact that chlorpromazine also blocks dopamine in other important pathways. The nigrostriatal pathway, for example, also involves dopamine signalling and controls movement. Chlorpromazine's action in this part of the brain can produce side effects that mimic Parkinson's disease, such as tremor, muscle weakness, muscle rigidity, and unstable and shuffling gait. The evidence reviewed suggests that 17% of people on chlorpromazine had at least one of these symptoms. That's roughly twice as many as those on placebo. However, it is half the number of those who have the same symptoms on haloperidol. Sedation is another side effect. You're 30% more likely to feel sedated on chlorpromazine compared to placebo. That's nearly three times as likely. Weight gain is another possible side effect. 40% more people on chlorpromazine experience weight gain than on placebo. That's five times as many. It can also lower your blood pressure so that you feel dizzy. That happened to 15% of people on chlorpromazine, over twice those on placebo. It's also three times more likely to happen if you're on chlorpromazine than if you're on haloperidol. Chlorpromazine also causes what's known as anti-muscarinic side effects, which include constipation and a dry mouth. The review found that you're twice as likely to have constipation and five times as likely to have a dry mouth if you take chlorpromazine compared to if you take a placebo. Like all antipsychotics, chlorpromazine lowers the seizure threshold in the brain. Although numbers are low, so it's still a rare side effect of chlorpromazine, you're three times more likely to have a seizure on chlorpromazine compared to if you take placebo. In summary, if you take chlorpromazine compared to placebo, you're three times as likely to see your symptoms improve significantly in a period of six months to two years. You're twice as likely not to relapse once you do get better. However, you're also twice as likely to get symptoms similar to Parkinson's disease, have constipation or get dizzy from low blood pressure. You're three times as likely to feel sedated or have a seizure. 
you're five times as likely to gain weight or to have a dry mouth. Compared to haloperidol, chlorpromazine is three times as likely to give you low blood pressure that makes you dizzy, but half as likely to give you Parkinson's disease like side effects. If you'd like more detailed information, please see the reviews used on the Cochrane Online Library. Links are in the description.